Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 93 on SI exam P, so we'll pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So losses under the pot two policies are independent on 0 to 10, so this is like 10, and this is 10. So then we know the probability distribution function of, let's say, A and B is equal to 1 over the area and the area is just the square of 10 times 10 so this is equal to 1 over 100 anyways and one policy I'm going to call that policy A has a deductible of 1 so I'm going to call Y the payment right so then X and then X the loss so then the payment of A is equal to X which is the loss minus 1 x of a, right? And likewise, y of b, the payment of b is equal to x, the loss of b minus, and this one has a deductible too. And they only have one loss under each policy. Okay, that makes it so much more simpler. And then they ask, calculate the probability that total benefit paid to the family does not exceed five. Okay, ooh baby. So let's say this is a, and then this is b. If a, the loss of A is between 0 and 1. Then B, right, if the maximum amount is 5, then the Y of B, the biggest it could be, it, Y of B has to be less than 5. But because Y of B we know is equal to XB minus 2, and this isn't this graph is in terms of X. This graph in terms is in terms of X. So we know that if we plug in Y of B in here, so you get X of B minus 2 is less than 5, so we know that x of b must be less than, than 7. Okay, likewise, if, if the loss of b is between 0 and 2, because you remember that b has a deductible of 2, so the company's not going to pay anything out of pocket until it heads over deductible, then the y of a, the payment paid to the, because of a, can be less, has to be less than 5, because it could be the maximum. But then we know y of a is equal to x a minus 1, is less than 5 so bringing that over to the other side you get x of a is less than 6 and lastly there is a possibility that a is between here we, we took care of this we took care of this 1 and 2 when loss is between 0 to 1 xb is less than 7 so it's like this if this is 5 this is like 7 right 7 and if loss is between 0 and 2 y a could be 5 so if this is 5 it's like here and lastly total benefit so total benefit so like y a plus y b has to be less than 5 right so then we know y a is x a minus 1 plus y b we know is x b minus 2 is less than 5 so then x a plus x b must be less than 8 Alright, so then if I put this in terms of xb, this is the same thing, same thing as saying xb is less than 8 minus xa. So it's going to form this line from like, oh my goodness, this graph is not drawn to scale in case you didn't notice. But it's going to be like this line right here. <laughs> and xb is less than this number, so that must be like this area right here. And you might be wondering, hey, so how come you don't fill in this little triangle right here? if xb is less than 8 minus xa and that's because oh this should be 6 by the way because if there's losses bigger than 6 like let's say 7 the maximum amount because if there is losses let's say here bigger than 6 then the company is not gonna that payment that payment it will definitely be bigger than 5 right think about it so like if x of a is equal to 7 let's say so like this point right here and we know that y of a is equal to x a minus 1 if 7 minus 1 that's equal to 6 so the total benefit here just a by itself is already 6 which is definitely bigger than 5 so this area right here this little triangle is not included and likewise that same logic applies to this big triangle this little triangle here here too so the area that we're looking for and just in just being this three blocks right here so all we have to do is just figure out the area of this little block so then this little 
big rectangle here is just going to be base 1, height 7. This square right here is going to be base 5, height 2. And lastly, this triangle right here is going to be base 5, height going from 2 to 7, going from 2 to 7, so that's 5, divide by 2 because it's a triangle. So this is equal to 29.5. And we know that this is 29.5 over the probability function, so times the probability of A and B, which is equal to 29.5 times 1 over 100. So this is equal to 0.295, which is approximately equal to 0 0.30, our answer is C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!